Hello, dear friends, Chris here. I hope you're well. I hope things are going good for you. Um, so uh, I have an unboxing for you today from DIY Digital Art. But before I get into that, let me just do the obligatories. Um, thank you and welcome to any new viewers. Uh, I hope you enjoy it here. I hope you stick around and I hope you do all that good YouTube stuff like like subscribe, share, comment below. Um, and to all my returning friends and true blues out there, thank you for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything. Um, I will link, uh, one of these below and I'll explain that in you in a minute, uh, below in the description box, um, as well where you can find my Facebook group with my friend Angie, uh, just answer the questions. It's a nice little group. Um, also my Instagram and my code for uniquely yours at under to save 10% on every order. So with all that said, um, I don't know what order you'll see these videos in. Um, so I'll just quickly go through this little story again, cause I already did a video um, from somebody else on another painting. So I found this painting, I got this painting. I really liked it and I seen there was a companion piece later on, what I consider a companion piece, in a different color um, and it was a square and so I got it from somebody else and I was kind of then afterwards I was kind of questioning myself because it kind of looked familiar or like it looked like somebody's artwork who I might know who it is. So with a little research, which I, for anybody who knows me, knows I don't research stuff I just it's I don't have the time patience to do that um or really the let's just be but the caring um and so normally that wouldn't matter to me <laughs> I always try to put my warning which is coming now I don't know the provenance of the item at least this one <laughs> I know this one now <laughs> which is why I'm not showing it um but we'll get into that in a second um so if that's something that is important to you or could upset you, um, thank you for watching to this point and I'll see you next time. Um, and I try, I try to say that in most of my videos, sometimes I forget. Um, if that's a issue with a budget company thing. Um, and so as I was saying, I kind of thought maybe this might be from somebody. So I looked it up and it was, and Normally, I wouldn't necessarily stop me from showing it, to be quite honest. Um, but the person whose work this is, I know somebody else connected to them, and I don't want to upset that person, so I decided not to show the full canvas here. However, I'll show you, just so you know the kind of products, if you're interested in DIY digital art, um... They, again, this is a round one. This is a all beautiful, beautiful blues, this canvas. Um, it has 24 colors. Uh, you could see the, the drill field. Again, fairly clear. Per usual, light pads always help, but if you have good eyes, you don't need one. Um, you know, if the eyes are an issue, it's always better to use them. Uh, I started using light pad again for basically everything just to save wear and tear on the eyes because it's, you know, good, a good idea to keep the eyes strong. So uh, that's basically all I'm going to show you on this one. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the drill area, the colors, and um, it's a really, really beautiful painting. It really is. But um, I just, because I don't want to upset somebody I know personally, I don't want to show you the whole thing. So with that said, I'm going to put this aside. And before I move on, I'll just show you real quick. These are the drills to them, uh, that painting. So there's black here, there's blues, some whites, more more blues. I mean, all this is just beautiful, beautiful, tons of blues in here. And again, too bad because I could have done this for the autism event that's going on in here in May, but uh, I'm just gonna keep this one to myself. So let's go on to this one now again, I don't know the provenance of this one either. Of course. Well, I definitely don't know the provenance of this one. Um, this is kind of tricky because you see this kind of style all over the place. I've seen this style from premium sites. I've seen them in budget sites. 
I don't know if this is necessarily somebody's work or not. I don't know what that issue is, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, so this is a 50 by 60 canvas size. I could see already tons of color blocking and then tons of confetti in different places. And here we have it. So this is my first ever, no, it's actually my second. I did actually have a chalkboardy kind of canvas with a B on it and it said be happy. That was a smaller one. So no, this is actually my second one. Um, and it says, you're the, you're the, yes, you're the sweetest. I, I was also almost going to say you're the sweets, but, uh, you're the sweetest. Um, I will of course probably have to be working out these words over here. You know me, if you know me, you know my pet peeve with lettering. So I will probably be doing, you know, a little magic, uh, with redoing those words, but it should be pretty easy because they're big enough. I just got to do it in all, one color instead of doing all these multiple colors in there. Either way, you're the sweetest. And we have a um, cupcake on a cake stand under glass. So beautiful, beautiful. I, I do like the ch style of this chalkboard stuff, but generally I found... Um, they kind of come too small of an image for me. Um, you know, I, I kind of like things to be very well defined. And so this is super defined. Again, the words are going to come out great. You can see the background, right? I love that they have these little things over here. I could play around with that. Add crystals or something or AB is there. But that's for sure. We have our, our glass super confetti in this. That's for sure. Look at that. But again, that's going to give a definition. Again, our strawberry with our strawberry cream on top, our chocolate cupcake. And again, our there we have our stand, the blues. So this is really, really pretty and cute. 24 colors. Uh, sticky drill field. Let's show you the legends of the fall. We have over here, again, on both sides. And here's our drill field. As you can see, the background, that black, all black, or mostly black. There is, it's not all black. There are actually other colors. If you could see, the W is the black. The other colors are the other colors in the black background. Stand our cupcake. And our lettering. So yeah, I as soon as I saw all this, I was like, oh, yes, 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 I love it, I love it, I love it. I love that it's bigger. I love that it, uh, I love the subject matter. I love the words. Love everything about it. Super excited for this one. Okay, so, and here we have our drills. Again, all packaged um, in baggies. You can see there's probably like three bags without black in there. Very dark color palette. Most of it's, again, what, probably 80% probably has to be dark. The only lighter colors are in this blue stand. Some confetti in here, and even those are darker colors. And in the, the words in the, the frosting. That's why we have all these dark, dark colors, some blacks and grays, lots of grays. Uh, we have some teals in there. We have a couple light colors. Teals and some pinks. But not very many. And then we go into the different color shades of blacks and dark blues and gray scales. And a couple light colors there. So. so there we have it. I will link this below. Thank you so much to my friends at DIY Digital Art. I absolutely love this canvas. I actually love the other one too. The definition on the other one is really, really great. Again, I wish I could show you, but I'm just not going to. Um, so check out DIY Digital Art. They're a really great site. Um, and until next time. Oh, by the way, please, I, I forgot to mention this um, in my other videos, I think, but please comment below. I love reading your comments. It might take me about a week, a week, week and a half to respond because I'm just that kind of lazy kind of person. But I do love reading them. I do appreciate the feedback and what you think. And um, 
the running conversations I have. I've made some great friends that way through my comments. So please comment below. And until next time, everybody, please, 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 please be safe, be happy, and stay safe, stay happy. Okay? Thanks so much, guys. Bye.